to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video I am going to be sharing with you my colouring plans for the month of May 2024. Um, I do have quite a big stack of books. Um, there is no way that I'm going to get to all of these pages but these are the ones that I would really like to work in in May. Um, and not included in this pile, um, I do have all of my outstanding buddy colours that I have yet to finish that have been going on for some time um, but you know they're, they're kind of they've been buddy colours for a long time so I've just got those over on my shelf just over here to my left um, and they stay there so that I can just sort of chip away at them slowly but these are the books that I have pulled off the shelf um, for the month of May um, so yeah, without further ado, we'll get started. So the first one that I've pulled out is this one. I'll zoom in a bit. So this is Small Victories by Johanna Basford. And at the moment, I've only completed one page in here, um, which was this one. Um, and I do have a whip in here which is this page and I had just started the little pumpkin so I'm really hoping to come back and um, get this page finished but I'd just really like to to work in here in the month of May um, see even something like this that won't take very long I think things like this will be really nice for me to do in between some of the other pages that I've pulled out because they are quite you know quite detailed and in-depth pages so you know if I can just use a few pages in here just to sort of you know chip away at in between you know those more more detailed and involved pages then yeah that would be great um you know even something that's just you know just fine liners or whatnot um i do really like this one but i just want something you know like this that i can just go in with like fine liners and gel pens i think so yeah something like that would be would be great um yeah or even something like this just a a no thinky kind of page so i'm really looking forward actually to coming back and uh and working in this book in um in may so that is small victories by johanna basford um, next I have this one. This is A Million Sea Creatures by the wonderful Lulu Mayo. I'm just going to pull out my, uh, my page flags because if I see anything that does really sort of appeal then I'll just, I may as well just sort of flag it while I'm here. So this is the only page that I have done in the book so far. Um, but yeah, I would really like to really like to work in this one again it would be nice to find something with a mermaid for mermaid but i'm not bothered if it doesn't just so long as the page appeals i don't like that one with the unicorn seahorses that's really really cute so that that is going to be an option, I think. <clears throat> yeah, we've got some mermaids here as well, look. Um, okay, I like this one better. So, ooh. Yeah, I haven't, excuse me, I haven't worked in this book for a while, so I'd 
really quite like to come back and um, and work in here really. Oh my goodness. That is so adorable. Even a page like that, like this, you know, you could sort of work on in between your other pages. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, it's so difficult to choose a page. They're all gorgeous. I was looking at this one just now as well. Um, yeah, I do really like that. I don't know, it's going to be one of these two pages, so it will either be this one or this one. Um, so let me just put flags in there. Um, and then I've got, you know, I've got, I've got my two options labelled. There's no way I would get to both, I don't think. Goodness, if it's a month like this month, um, because I'm recording this on the 26th of April, if it's a month like this month, then um, yeah, I've got I've got no chance. <laughs> um, okay, the next one is this one. This is my favourite Rita Berman book. This is my Rice at Dacharopa. Um, and I am going to be doing a buddy colour in here with the beautiful Dana from Dana's Colouring Obsession. Um, and we're going to be doing this page and I'm really, really excited. I haven't worked in this book for quite some time. Um, now, as you can see on this page, I have got bleed through here from, from this one, from when I sprayed the fixative on the page. So, depending how I go, I might colour these at the same time to try and cover some of the bleed through. Um, but if I don't get to, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lose sleep. But what I can do is just keep a note of the colours that I use on here, just to keep these pages cohesive. Um, you know, because what's inside this suitcase here could be one of these suitcases here ready to go with the uh with the camper van but yeah i'm really excited to do this one and you know it's always a pleasure doing a buddy color with dana so yeah we're going to be working on that one and that is mine rice at dutch Europa. Next, I have this one. This is the World Literature Colouring Book by the incredible Eerie. Um, and this is now a project book with myself and the gorgeous Geordie from Geordie Colours. Um, again, I will link her channel in the description for you. Um, now, I have a page in here that Geordie has done that I haven't. Um... We've, we've both done a buddy colour in here for April, but the page that she has already done that I haven't is this one. This is um, the Esmeralda page. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting started on this one. Um, I might even sit and make a start on this one today, um, just so that I make some progress. But um, we haven't really spoken about what page we're going to be doing first um all i know is that we're going to be working through the book in order so we're going to be doing front to back so whether it is you know this one this one both of the pages um or whether we start on um whoops whether we start on this one this one here um i'm not sure um, but yeah, I'll, I'll have a conversation with Geordie and we, we will figure it out. But yeah, we're going to be starting to work through this book together in order. So I'm really 
excited because this is such a beautiful beautiful book um so yeah i'm i'm really really excited to do more in here i've been absolutely loving eerie's books i've kind of i've got like a renewed love for them i never fell out of love with her artwork but I don't know, I just think because I've been working in her books quite a lot recently um, and working on some whips and stuff, I just, oh yeah, really, really have a renewed love and just joy working in these books. So there is that one. Speaking of Eerie, I have the um, Romantic Country, The Second Tale. And I started this page the other night. Um, I was just, you know, chilling out. I've got a base, um, I've got some water-based marker here as a base on the, on the cottage. Um, the sky and the grass. Here is my Kuretake watercolours. Um, and then I have started some shading with my um, Polychromos pencils. So I want to continue this one in May. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to working more on this one, actually. Um, yeah, if I've got a bit of time over the weekend, I hope to chip away at this as well. I'll hopefully get the, the stonework finished. Um, the door won't take me too long to finish. But yeah, if I can get the door and the stonework, I'll be really, really happy. Um, but I'm not sure what to colour this bit of the ground down here because this is this is grass. But yeah, I'm not sure what to what to do this bit really. Whether to do that, like a I don't know, maybe like a darker area of grass, or whether I don't know whether it's dirt, whether it's like a you know like a muddy patch. I'm I'm really not sure. So I might just have to have a look on um, on Instagram for some inspiration and see how people have coloured this area of the ground down here. So that is Romantic Country, the second tale. Next, um, I'll be working in the Mermaid's Colouring book by the incredible Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And I am going to be doing this page here, the Orca Magic page. Um, and this is going to be a buddy colour with the lovely Brianna from Beautiful Colours here on YouTube. Um, yeah, Brianna chose the page and I'm a little bit nervous because there is a lot of sort of open space um but at the same time i'm really excited because i haven't colored a jasmine beckett griffith page in a hot minute so yeah it is about time and of course this will go for mermaid um but yeah i i have colored a few pages in here i've done this one this was a buddy color with brianna as well On this one that one and this one and that's the f my favorite one I've done in here so far so yeah, it'll be nice to come back and, and work in this book again, actually. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So, I'll be working in that one with Brianna. Excuse me. You can see him out of smidge. Okay, the next one is the beautiful new book, Luna, by the wonderful Stratton Peterson. Um, there are so many beautiful pages in here that I would love to colour, um, but it's really hard. 
hard to choose. So I'll just have another quick look through while, while I'm here with you. Because I know quite a few of you um, actually enjoyed sort of watching me select my pages whilst on camera with you. But, oh, it's just beautiful, it really is. I love this one, the flying lanterns. Absolutely love that page. But yeah, see that's oh my goodness. It's so different. Cool. <laughs> We've got a mermaid here. Hmm. I don't know if I want to colour that one. Love this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Luna Moth. Love that. The water moon signs, I do really like that. Um. Okay, I think I'm going to flag this one. The water moon signs. I'm just wondering how this paper would would accept water. I'm not. I don't know. Not. I'm not sure. Um. I don't know if I'm convinced, but I haven't tried it. So maybe I need to. I've got a blank page in the back. No, not really. Oh, in the front. Yeah, I mean, I could try a bit of watercolour here and just see how it behaves. But yeah, this one, the water moon signs. I I did look at this page earlier as well when I pulled the book off the shelf. So yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go with this one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It'd be lovely to get a page started in there. The next one is um, Universe by Maria Troller. Um, again, I haven't selected a page in here. Um, but I have a question for you guys, um, because I'm not sure. Is Moon Valley, is, is her colouring book Moon Valley, is that the same as the Mandalan colouring book? Um... Or Luna, like, I, I'm just wondering if it's the same as, as Mandalan. Um, because if it's a book that I don't have, then I might want to have a look at it. But yeah, these are just... So lovely. This is a compilation but yeah, Moon Valley. I'm just wondering if that's the Luna or the Mandolin um, book or whether Moon Valley is one that I, I don't have. Let's 
see that's really pretty with the lotus flowers, but I don't think I want to do that one. I do like that. That's beautiful, this one. How pretty is that? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Hmm, that's an option. Yeah, it says that this one is from Moon Valley. I don't know, maybe I need to pull my Mandalam book out and, and see if it is the same. Luna. Okay, so Moon Valley isn't Luna. So I wonder if Moon Valley is the Mandalam book then. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> I'm sat here sort of mulling it over out loud. Right. Oh, so lovely. See, that would be a nice one for Mermaid as well, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That one's not appealing to me at the moment. Oh, I'm itchy nose. Oh, I like that. That's beautiful. Um, do you know, I think I'm leaning towards this one. So I'm going to just flag that one. So that is Maria Troller's Universe. Next I have A Frog's Tale by the incredible RJ Hampson. Um, now this is a book that I want to work through in order. I've already done this one and this has been a whip for quite a while and I've just based it with alcohol markers. So all I need to do on this one now is go in with pencils um, and maybe a little bit of gel pen or some fine liner in a few areas and then that's it. This one will be done. And then I've got this one after which I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, this is a book that I, I, I want to um, get done in order. So I don't need to flag that one because it's next in the book to be done. Okay, and I've pulled out this one. This is Matchstick Mouse, an autumn colouring book. This is one of my 10 books to complete. And I think as I've mentioned in a previous video, I can tell you guys now for certain that the turn to complete is just not going to happen this year um but i've got three pages flagged I'm not going to be doing that one i know one of them is a whip um i do really like this one so i'm going to keep that one flagged um yeah this one this is a work in progress so this again has had a base of marker for a little bit so um, I just need to go in and add a little bit of shading and a few highlights so this one won't take me long at all. Um, so yeah, I'd like to get that one finished. So that is Matchstick Mouse, an autumn colouring book by Morgan O'Brien. Next, I have this one, Characters Through Worlds and Times by the incredible um, Christine Karen. She has fast become one of my favorite artists. Now I do have a whip in here and it is my cowgirl. I did work on her a little bit more recently. Um, I sort of based her, her jacket and her neck scarf here. Um, and I think, did I base her hat as well? Or was that already done? I don't know, I can't remember, but yeah, I added some more alcohol marker base to her. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping I can get her done 
but there was a mermaid in this one yeah here the very last page and I just thought she was stunning um so this is a page that I would really really like to get done for mermaid um, and I have been asked as a requested video to show how I um, base a Christine Karen image with alcohol markers and then go in with shading over the top. So I think this would also be a wonderful page for me to do a video on um, for that request. So I don't think you'll see this page sort of start to finish on the channel. But I will do a video where I show like a little bit of alcohol marker basing and then going in with pencils over the top. Um, I cannot remember who requested that. I'm so sorry. I cannot remember off the top of my head. But um, yeah, I will get that video done. Um, and I just thought she was so incredibly gorgeous. Look at her little face. And she's got freckles as well. So precious. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to uh, to do this one. Really, really excited. So there is that one. And then last, but by no means least, I know this has been uh, quite a big stack of books. I'm being way too, uh, <laughs> way too ambitious, I think. But, you know, if I get to them, I get to them. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Um, so the last one is this one. This is the Immortal Ink Tattoo Colouring Book illustrated by Tania Maya, Al Rose and Francois Gautier. Now, there are stunning images in here on every single page. I really love these back, these um, like sort of sketch designs. I love them. I think they are just fantastic now this one this one really appeals to me this design really appeals to me but I did find I think they're more towards they're not in the surrealism where is it there was some mermaids here the Americana style um, this mermaid here I absolutely love it I really really do and I thought you know that would be a really nice little page to do to get started in this book and give the paper a try um, and again she would go for mermaid whether I would do the diving girl as well I'm not sure um, yeah probably but this is the one I want to concentrate on first. I just think she is beautiful. So, yeah, I'd really like to give this a, a go at adding some colour to this. And this is an untouched book as well. So, yeah, I'm going to put a, a flag on, on, that, on that page. Like so. So there you go my loves, that is um, my colouring plans for the month of May 2024. If you would like a flip through of any of the books that you have seen in this video, please just let me know in the comments and I'd be more than happy to do a flip through for you. Um, like I said, I don't think I'm going to get to all of these books um, because I do plan on trying to chip away at some of my long-standing buddy colours that are just over here to my left as well. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go and we'll just sort of see how we go. Um, April has been a really rough month for my mental health, so all we can do is just, just wait and see, you know, see what happens in May, um, just take it a day at a time. Um, but yeah, these are the books that I would I would really like to sort of come to and uh, yeah, see what I can do in them. So thank you all so, so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care, stay safe, my loves, and I will see you soon. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>